let's talk about Lee Anderson. Um, this has been pretty hot topic of the NHL of, or the whole hockey community. People seem pretty upset about what Lee Anderson did, and some people praise it. Tell you the truth, I freaking loved it. <laughs> First, of all, you can't tell me like, all right, once well, let's just take a before I make any outrageous claims and get and just and start getting angry. People, take a look at this. Um, okay. So, 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 I gotta find the correct article, but, um, you gotta feel for the kid, because he didn't do it because he's a sore loser. Okay, right here. He lost in the World Juniors three years in a row. 17, 18, and now, look, uh, let me pull up on Elite Prospects, let me pull up his statistics for those years if I can. Um, three years in a row. Uh, if I lost, I get angry losing fucking pickup hockey games. I, I, I get upset. I get frustrated. I couldn't imagine losing. Yeah. U17, they lost. U18, they lost. And now U20, they lost. How can anybody get upset? He lost three years in a row. Uh, and I'm almost positive he made it to the final all three of those years. Wouldn't you be upset? <laughs> I mean, come on, people. Like, is nobody out there competitive anymore? Like, do, are we supposed to be okay with second place? I'm trying to understand this because, like, you know, you know, if he would have taken the medal and chucked it as hard as he can into the stands, you know what? I could agree with you. That's freaking ridiculous. He straight up took the medal, tossed it over the boards like this. Who gives a shit? You know, like, he tossed it to a fan. He made, he made somebody's day. He made a guy's day. He didn't straight up throw it to a nobody, overhand chuck it to a nobody. He just tossed it over, skated over, tossed it over, and stayed out for the ceremony. What's wrong with that? What does it have to do with leadership? He fucking lost. He played through injury. He tied a Swedish record for most goals in a tournament. And they fucking lost in like the final minute. Who the hell is going to be complacent with that? Fuck the medal. What? First of all, as someone who's lost and won before, what does second place mean? Second place means you fucking lost. He didn't win anything. What? what, what are we going to celebrate second place? No. We're going to celebrate third place. I, I'm from America. I root for Team USA. We won third place. Who gives a fuck? We didn't get first place. What does third place mean? Doesn't mean shit. It doesn't mean shit. And not for nothing, Eric Carlson might not have fucking wing, uh, underhand tossed, God forbid I say wing, he didn't, might not have underhand tossed his uh, medal to the stands, but didn't he auction his fucking medal off on eBay? I mean, come on, people, what the fuck, what are we getting upset about? The kid's competitive, he's got heart, he's got passion, he plays his heart out. And not for nothing, you shouldn't be allowed to comment on the topic unless you actually watch Sweden play this tournament. They played their hearts out. Leah Sanderson especially, he put his heart and soul into this team. He played his ass off. Like, like I said, he played injured. He was so freaking injured, they thought that his season would be done. And he came back and played the next damn day. You, you gotta feel for the kid. I'd be pretty pissed off too. People out here saying, oh, you're a piece of shit. I hope you never get called up. You're a disgrace to the game. People, if you think that's the case and you don't know what it's like to lose or play competitive sports, we can't be complacent with losing. What, first of all, it, who are you to get complacent with losing? What, what is that going to do for you going forward? If you're okay with, you know what, fuck, I lost, whatever. It's just a game. No, this isn't just a game for these people. This is their fucking job. This game, this hockey, is, is his fucking career. He wants to win. He's passionate. Excuse my, me for cursing. Um, that's my New York coming out of me. My, my, my New York accent or whatever you want to call it. It gets passionate. What is there to get upset about? It happens. People throw tantrums. They get upset. If he was, listen, if he was 21 years old and older, I'd be like, you know what? That's ridiculous. The kid's 19 years. He's a year older than me. He's 19 years old. It's a mistake. I'm not praising him for it. I liked it, but I'm not going to go out and like, hey, listen, good job, kid. Pat on the back. You threw your medal in the stand. No, I'm not praising him for it, but I don't think you should be getting such shit for it. Who cares? It's, it's, a, it's a heat of the moment thing. It's not like, listen, it's not like he skipped the handshake line, went like this to Canada, didn't sit out for the anthem and watch the awards ceremony because he did all of that. He just tossed his medal in the stands, underhand tossed it to a fan. 
There's nothing to be upset about with that. I mean, come on. Get off your freaking high horse, people. I mean, fucking people, I swear to God, you go on Twitter and I, well, people are fucking telling him like they've been there. You know, like like everyone's a fucking Stanley Cup champion. Everyone's been there before. And they're going to tell me that this kid on the World Junior stage is fucking lost in the final minute of the gold medal game should be okay with losing. Who are you? Like, who the hell are you to say that? I mean, God damn it, people. Wake the fuck up. I, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I'm not going to get into the poll participation trophy discussion. I'm not going to. But I feel like people today are a little too okay with losing. And that's not going to get us very far in life, people. Us as humans, we need to be competitive both in the real world and our little hockey world, our, our, our fantasy lands, our getaways. We, we've got to be competitive and realistic about things. You know, if, you're, if you get a, when you get a job when you're older, and you and a coworker are competing for the managerial position, and your coworker gets it, which means you're not going to be getting paid as much. You're not going to be getting the hours that you want. You're not going to get all the benefits of being a manager. And you're like, oh, okay. All right, that's, that's, that's fine. It is what it is. No, you're not. You're going to fucking piss because that's money you're losing. That's time you're losing. That's a lot of stuff you're losing out of. You can't be, you can't be complacent with not getting that job. Especially when you work your ass, like, for example, put yourself in Lee Sanderson's position. He worked his freaking ass off, people. It's not like he, if he was a fourth liner and he fucking sucked, he didn't do anything, he didn't score a single goal, he had like a point in the whole tournament. You know what? Yeah, yikes, kid. Relax yourself. He had six goals. Six goals and an assist. He, had, he was point per game. Played through injury. He tied a Swedish record for goals for in a tournament. Quote me on that. So I think we all need to get off Leah Sanderson's back. I'm not praising the kid for it. I like what he did personally because that just shows that he has competitive edge. I'm not praising him for it. I'm not saying do it again, but I don't see anything wrong with it. I don't. I don't. If anything, we, we learned that this kid has more fire than we thought. And I'll leave it at that. You comment down below. You let me know what you think. Let's have a discussion, not an argument. A discussion about this. Oh my God, people are fucking fighting each other on the internet. It's amazing. <sighs> comment down below your thoughts peacefully and let's communicate. See you guys in the next one. Peace.